Let me ask you a question. Has Final Cut Pro 11 lost its place in the world of video editing? With new tools like CapCut surging ahead and DaVinci Resolve dominating the pro space, is it time to ask if Final Cut Pro is just too little too late? Today, we're gonna look into the new features of Final Cut Pro 11 and ask the big question, is Apple still innovating for pro editors or is the latest release a gimmick to keep you locked into their ecosystem? Stick around because we're also gonna talk about a powerful alternative that's taking the industry by storm. What's really good? Welcome to Flash Film Academy, the place where photographers, videographers, and filmmakers come to master the business of content creation. I'm Ty, a former Army combat photographer and the owner of Flash Film Media, one of Texas's most trusted production companies. And today we're examining Final Cut Pro 11. Apple released some cool sounding updates like magnetic masking and spatial video editing. But are they really useful for serious editors or just flashy add-ons? By the end of this, you'll have a clear answer. Final Cut's new features. On paper, Final Cut Pro 11 has some intriguing updates. Magnetic masking, transcribing to caption, which should be transcribing the subtitle, but we'll get to that in a minute. Spatial video editing and Apple Vision Pro integration. These all sound impressive, but when you get into editing, they start to feel more like gimmicks than game changers. Magnetic masking, for instance, is a cool AI feature, but it's hardly revolutionary, especially when other tools are using AI in ways that genuinely speed up the editing process. It feels more like Apple's attempt to keep you hooked to their hardware than deliver something editors really need. While Final Cut Pro is focusing on smart features, CapCut has exploded, offering a range of powerful templates and pro-level AI tools at a fraction of the cost. For social media editors and content creators, CapCut is quickly becoming the go-to, and that's both for your mobile version and your computer. Also, it's doing it without any push to keep you in a single ecosystem. On the other hand, DaVinci Resolve has evolved from a color grading tool to an industry standard editing suite. Resolve offers multi-user collaboration, customizable plugins, and advanced editing capabilities that far surpass what Final Cut is doing. It's hard not to feel that Final Cut has lost its place in the pro editing world. With DaVinci Resolve taking over the professional space and CapCut providing advanced tools for quick turnaround content. The question is, where does Final Cut Pro fit? It's almost if Apple isn't sure who they're building the software for anymore. Final Cut has always been known for its speed and simplicity, but that's no longer enough to justify its place, especially when these new updates feel more like an attempt to keep you in Apple's ecosystem than to offer real advancements for serious editors. Real quick, if you're new to this channel, make sure you go over to Flash Home Academy and get our Capture and Convert Kit. It's free. This kit will help you understand how to pick the right tools, build your client base, and convert your content into income. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Here's the hard truth. Final Cut Pro had a 14 year head start in the editing world, launching back in 1999. Even Final Cut Pro X released in 2011 still had a two year lead over DaVinci Resolve. But fast forward to today and Resolve has not only caught up, but it's arguably surpassed Final Cut Pro, offering features that professionals actually need. Blackmagic listen to their users and build features around their needs, not just to keep people tied to their hardware. Resolve offers a plug-in marketplace, a free-to-use version, and an editing workflow that scales from YouTube videos to feature films. With these options, Final Cut feel like it's caught in between, struggling to define its identity. While Resolve is a better choice for beginners and pros alike, one question I get all the time over at Flash Film Academy is which editing tool beginners should invest in. My answer is always DaVinci Resolve. First, it's free to start, which means you don't have to commit financially to a single tool. Second, Resolve is built for growth. You can be editing TikTok videos today and feature films tomorrow. Resolve will scale with you. It's hard not to feel like Final Cut Pro, especially with the latest release, is more interested in keeping you locked into Apple's world than offering you a tool you can build a career around. So is Final Cut Pro 11 enough to keep Apple in the editing game? I'd love to hear what you think. Make sure you drop your comments below. And don't get me wrong, listen, I too, 
am still a diehard Final Cut user, but I've been forcing myself to use more DaVinci Resolve. And the release of Final Cut Pro 11 has shown me that I've been making the right decision. If you're serious about taking your video work to the next level and mastering the business side of content creation, make sure you visit flashfilmacademy.com or download our app in the App Store. Remember, every business around you need content. Why aren't they hiring you? When you're ready to answer that question, join Flash Film Academy. Prior to joining Flash Film Academy, I was just another freelance videographer struggling to find clients. After joining Flash Film Academy, within three months, I was able to get my first beta client and my first official paycheck to the business. I have to say, if you're looking to get Flash Film Academy, get it. It is well worth it. If you implement the strategies and the techniques and knowledge that is imparted through the courses, you will see success.